figure out which bait it is. Grab it, you go. Nothing on it. Had it before, yeah. Anything? Yeah, nothing there. <laughs> right, I'm gonna try the uh, millionth different thing I'm gonna do today and to get out of a bite that actually continue with the challenge. Oh, I thought I was gonna blank. Welcome to Everything Cup Shit. The Christmas stocking challenge. I'm out a local day ticket, so hopefully I can do this. Let's go. The Christmas challenge is that I have to pick a present from the stocking, and that's gonna be my bait. I have to catch a carp bigger than 10 pound before I can get another present out, and I have to continue until all the baits have gone out of the stocking, and that's when I complete the challenge. I'm gonna get a present out of the stocking now. Got one. Hmm. <laughs> okay, right. Well, it's the orange pop ups. These are 12 mil orange pop ups. I practically caught every single carp in the lake on these. They're brilliant bait, so I reckon I can get this done quickly and move on to the next bait. Right, let's set it up and get it out there, and hopefully. I'll get a quick bite. Let's go. As this is a Christmas challenge, I thought I might have a lucky charm, and this is a little stocking, some little presents, uh, I don't know, a tree, I don't know what that is, but uh, <laughs> uh, I thought I'd have a little mascot on the rods, just as extra luck, um, and as this is called the stocking challenge, why not have a stocking? I'm just gonna pull it on there, and it's gonna stay on the rods all day, and hopefully it'll bring me luck. When you bring your own mat, that's really carpy that is. Gives you extra luck. Bring your own little grass mat. Uh, blends in with the uh, grass and uh, keeps your feet nice and comfortable. And uh, you can you know, wipe them off. Lovely. Um, I'm hopeful for the morning, I think. Uh, I'm hopeful to get one bite. Size-wise, it's going to be difficult. I mean, there is a lot of little carp in here as well. Um, as doubles and mid-doubles. So, I think it's going to take quite a lot of fish first to get that double but I think the afternoon is going to be my best bet I think that's my best bet to get a couple of decent fish seem to be I seem to get bigger carp in the afternoon on this lake so I'm hoping in the afternoon and picking different baits might give me um, more fish in the afternoon but I think the morning is going to be a bit of a struggle I think I'm just going to get little carp but we'll see I mean, uh, I think I'm. I think I've given myself the great start I need, really, by having those orange pop-ups because I've caught literally every single carp in this lake on them, and I think they're going to be the bait to get me a quick bite, and uh, you know, it'd be nice to get a few Christmas carp. Today I've decided to fish one with a solid bag, and then the other one's going to be on a Ronnie rig on a helicopter setup. Um, so one's going to be fished over a few scattered boilies over the back. Um, waiting for a sort of bigger fish and then I'm going to chuck around a bag to try and find fish as well so I've got two different tactics as well so one's going to catch them and the other one might catch some bigger ones as well so I can um, keep catching carp of all different sizes until I get the one I need so what I've done also is I've also got another inline setup as well so one this is out in the lake I'm actually going to make up another one ready to go so um, yeah, so I'm going to get this solid bag out first and then I'm going to get on and sort the other one out and get the bait on and get it out, put a few baits over it and then we'll sit back and hopefully we'll get one. Normally, normally in this lake I normally fish with one in solid bag and I normally fish with uh, 15 mil bait on this um, and put out a few boilies around the back of the lake and uh, I'm just contemplating what I'm going to be doing with this one because uh, I've always got some 12 millers. Uh, I might just fish one hole for now. Normally if I'm fishing with this, I'm fishing with a uh, single little 12 miller. I like to put like, this pop mix out really. 
you know, I'm just watching match anglers and uh, seeing how they catch fish. What they do is they stand up and have a big chat for half an hour before they start fishing. So looks like they know what they're doing. Right, I've just put my uh, bait on the Ronnie rig. Um, I'm going to fish it as a single uh, bait, and uh, because this rig's quite heavy, I I'm happy enough putting it on here because uh, once it soaks up a little bit of water in the lake I think it will be like a sort of half pop-up half wafter which would be really good um, pop-ups don't do, do that well if you pop them up too high in here um, but normally I'd put a little bit of foam underneath just to give it extra buoyancy to make sure it's a pop-up all day but I'm not going to do that I'm just going to stick it like this and it, it starts as a pop-up and then it will sort of drift down a little bit over time but we'll pull it out and uh, see what happens Boilies I'm going to be putting over the um, rod that's basically just going to be my sleeper rod that's going to stay there. I'm just going to put a few boilies at the top and hopefully I'll get a bigger fish on that and then I can move on to another bait. Um, well, what I've done is I've been soaking these ones in water overnight and uh, what I'm going to do now is put a little bit of molasses over them just to give them a bit more edge, just a bit more flavour that's coming out of them. There's, a, there's flavour coming out of them obviously because I've been soaking them in water but um, I like to do that to make them soft as well. Um, but the molasses will just give an extra little edge to it and hopefully uh, it'll draw in fish and I'll get a couple of bites hopefully. And, uh... right. Yeah, nothing there. <laughs> That's what I thought there was. Last time I was here, it was doing that all morning. I had that all morning. Where it would just go. And it would go up to the top and you grab it and you go, loving on it. Had it before here for some reason. It just seems to be a thing. I think it's more likely to be fish moving in close because I've got a flying bat there, Don, and I've got a leader on. So, yeah, probably probably just out in front of me, maybe about 12 foot in front of me, maybe 20 foot in front of me. Nothing against the line, I think, probably. I don't know. We'll pull it back out and see if we can get a bite. They were very really cold last week. Last week they were ice cold those carp, so I'm not exactly thinking they're gonna be like fish or arm or anything. Getting four ten pounders might be uh, well nearly impossible. But I might be able to ch pass one challenge. I reckon uh, two maybe. Don't think I'll be able to pass that one challenge. I'd be optimistic. <laughs> and the time is nearly half ten. Right. Bite time in morning was is usually between 10 and 11 is the best time in the morning um, and we are now slap bang in the middle of it so who knows as soon as we get a bite we'll be on it like quickly getting that bread rod back out putting a bit of um, putting a few more baits out you know trying to the bags getting them out and I think the quicker as I can get out once I've had a fish I think that's going to be my key really people turn up and I think it's making me sort of shrink my spot a little bit so it's a bit hard for me to move around as much which is a bit disappointed now I'm going to have a cup of tea and then I'm going to put a little bit of bait in the margins I reckon I think that's going to be the key next I like to put some bait in the margins I've got one to the right and one to the left so I'm just going to put a handful each of chop boilies and some pellets I might try it sort of at the end of the session or I might try it just after lunch or something like that um, where they're sort of quiet at times and uh, see if I can get by it that way. Sometimes it does ha work and sometimes it doesn't. Um, I'm going to put some bait in now and uh, I'll have a little think about if I'm going to put it in, in at lunchtime or I'm going to put it in just before the end, sort of like 15, 20 minutes before I have to go. Alright, let's go and do it.
Well, I've decided to bring my solid bag in. It's been out there half an hour. I've had nothing on it. I did see a fish um, this morning jump on that spot and that's um, where I pull it. Nothing's happened at all. So I brought it in, I'm gonna recast. I did see a fish jump out to the right about halfway. So I'm just gonna flick it out there and see if it makes a difference. I'm just gonna keep moving it around to try and find those fish. Well, I'm just going to have a go in the margins for a little bit, just for uh, 20 minutes or so. I did put a little bit of bait in earlier, so it's worth having a go, quick, a quick go for a go, and then if nothing happens, and then I'll put them back out again. Uh, I'm actually going to put both in the margins as well, so let's put this one in, and then we'll put the other one in, and give it some time, and if nothing happens, I'll put them back out again, and we'll just keep going until we get a bite, really, so let's get it in the margins and see if we get something. Well, I'm gonna try the billion thing today. Um, I'm trying everything to try and catch a carp today. It's difficult. Uh, yeah, I've been casting that solid bag out where fish have been jumping and nothing's happened. Uh, about to cast this one out where I've seen a fish jump about, I don't know, 10 minutes ago, something like that. So uh, I'm gonna get it, pull it on and get it out there and hope, really. I'm gonna put a little bit of goo in the, um, in the solid bag and I'm hoping that will do something as I'm just gonna try everything today is this challenge has not even started yet I haven't even caught a carp so I'm gonna try everything to get a bite no, I'm gonna keep going I've finally got a bite. Um, I've just put it down the margins for the last sort of 10 minutes and it's gone. Yes! <laughs> oh, I thought I was going to blame.
why there's, there's proof. That's the orange bait, the 12 miller. Well, didn't uh, finish the challenge. I managed to catch this 15 pounder right to the end, which makes me a pass for this bait, but uh, I haven't caught any on the other baits it, that were in the stocking. But it doesn't matter. Um, at least I get the end of a nice fish. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the new year. Lovely fish. Right, let's get it back.